Welcome back to another Leagues, Shattered Relics this time, Leagues number three. Now, I'm not going to lie, boys, I do not have a plan. I don't really know much about this league, so we're going in pretty blind. That's what's going to make it fun, though. Oh, here we go. Please choose your starting combat class. So we have melee, ranged, or magic. Now, I think everyone's going for, like, range or magic, but I want to be different and unique. I want to go for melee, because later on in the video, I want to go to Rev Caves, which is in the wilderness, with, like, a DDS or a D-Long, and just, like, PK people and kill the Revs. I think it'd be fun. So let's choose the warrior. And we lock a fragment right here. Improved melee accuracy on zero prayer. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, there we go. I didn't read any of... <laughs> I didn't read any of that. Wow, look at that. Prayer's 30 points. Slayer's 30 points. Oh, you can buy quest too. That's sick. Please tell me Lost City's on here. I don't see Lost City on here, so I can equip the DDS. Because Lost City, you need wood cutting. And you have to kill that spirit tree thing. I don't have magic. But I think I can just do Fairy Tale Part 1. Yes, doing this unlocks me Lost City. And it gives me the drum and stuff. Alright, i got to go figure out what the fuck to do because I have no idea. Alright, quickly just got level 5 thieving. And there's 6 fishing. Oh, I just realised, but everyone has a passive effect of unlimited run energy. That's super nice. Alright, we can buy another skill. And I think I'm going to go for agility. Because I do need to make a bit of money to buy the Revenant Cave entrance. And of course to buy Dragon Weaponry. So there we go. Agility unlocked. Hardy Waystone unlocked. Yeah, I just realised I have another fragment I can choose from. I locked it, I think, when I locked the second Bobby up here. Smooth Criminal. Chances to successfully pickpocket is increased by 15%. Yes, please. Oh, I need to go to a bank. Alright, there we go. It's equipped now. 20 thieving. I, I just got a fragment. I got a fragment. An unidentified fragment. What does it do? Let's break it. Ooh, you've unlocked deeper pockets fragments. I, what is that? Oh, here it is. 20% chance to gain double loot when pickpocketing. Ooh, that's cool. So you get these fragment things as you're doing the skill. Nice. Yo, no way, I got another one. What does this one do? That animation is so cool. Wait, what? You've gained 500 XP in your deeper pockets fragment. Oh, okay. So you get XP in it. Oh, I see. The more fragments you get of that, you increase its level. So like level two would be 50%, level three about 100%. 30 thieving. Let's unlock the Falador Waystone, Lumbridge Waystone. There's level 10 agility. Yo, look at his home teleport animation. That's sick. Wee, bye bye. Oh shit, boys, we've got a fragment. What do we get? Mother's Magic Fossils. <laughs> What the fuck is that? The chance of obtaining fossils on Fossil Island and Mother Mine Gold Nuggets are increased by 100%. Mage Training Arena points received are increased by 100%. Wow. Okay, might be doing some Mage Training Arena later on the account. Maybe, I don't know. Interesting fragment. We got another fragment. What is it? What is it? What is it? Grave Robber. Amount of hallowed marks received increased by 50%. Uh, that's kind of trash. And I need Sins of the Father completed for that even to work. There's 30 agility. There's total level of 100. And yes, as I'll be playing leagues, I'm just simply splashing on my group PP Hawkeye men. I've got 205,000 Earth Strikes to go through. There we go, complete 30 laps on the Adrenal Agility course, there's 25 points. Oh, we got a fragment, didn't you notice? What do we get, what do we get? Oh, I just got XP in the Grave Robber. All right, we've got 20 points. I am going to be buying Strength, except... There we go, look at that animation, so clean, nice. We've got a new fragment, what is it? Clued in fragments. Enemies that drop clue scrolls drop them at a rate of 1 in 30 now. Okay. I don't know how to get the set effect right here. Last recall would be so nice. I think you need like three or four different fragments to get the set effects. I really don't know. And that's level 40 agility. 25 points. That's 50 laps of rooftop agility. 25 points. There's Ferox Enclave Waystone. Oh look, there's Pip. Hello Pip. We got another 10 points. And we are going to unlock hit points nice so we got melee unlocked hit points and defense you guys want to see an easy way to get 25 points come down here and there we go 25 points have we unlocked tier 3 you've unlocked all the required fragments to use the trailblazer set effect also at tier 3 my xp multiplier goes from five times to eight times Karen favors doubled. A random combat fragment. I didn't get that. Where's that at? So that combat fragment, it just appeared in my menu right here. Arcane Conduit. 
Magic runes and weapon charges have 40% chance to be saved. Not too bad. Ooh, I just got a portable waystone necklace from this dude. You need to equip one more fragment with the Trailblazer set effect to use this item. What does that mean? What the fuck? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. So like right here, this fragment has the Trailblazer effect on it. This one does too, but this one doesn't. Okay, I see how the set effects work. So I need to equip three fragments with the same effect on it. So like if I want personal banker effect, I have to equip another two fragments with the same personal banker. Okay, I see. So let's take out deeper pockets. Where is it? There it is. Unequip that. And then we equip the arcane one. And nice, yeah, there we go. We have a set effect. Oh, 25 points too. So now we have this thingy, my Bobby, portable waystone. Oh, ho, ho, that is sick. I can teleport to all the waystones. Look at this. <gasps> Whee! That's so good. All right, we're about to finish Waterfall Quest with an eight times XP multiplier. Wow, 220,000 XP, 50 attack and 51 strength just from that quest. All right, this Priest Imperil completed. That would have been 11,000 prayer XP, but I do not have prayer unlocked. And now we've unlocked Caliphus. All right, just got some more points. And we are going to unlock a quest. Going to go for Fairy Tale Part 1. Cost me 10 points. This will unlock me Lost City, Nature Spirit, Restless Ghost, Fairy Tale Part 1, of course. I'll get the ability to to equip dragon weapons and use the Draymon staff. Alright, let's go ahead and buy it. Look at that animation, it's so cool. Nice. Fairy tale part one is now completed. Let's go to Cafe B and get my Draymon staff. Thank you. And I believe that's better stats than the Steel Scimitar. Um, nope, I'm completely wrong. Steel Scimitar is actually better. I did get a fragment of skilling from that rooftop course. See what I get? Golden Breaker. <gasps> Wait, is that the one with the mark of grace? Please tell me it is. I think that's the one. No way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my god, yes it is. When I'm Marker Grace spawned, 4,000 coins will be spawned together. Yes, that's the one I wanted. Let's go. That's so nice. There we go. Look at that. 4,000 GP on top of every Marker Grace. Who needs the Jewelry Pyramid? We got another skilling fragment. What's it going to be? It's from the experience in the Grave Robber fragments. There we are. Level 50 of Jewelry coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Got another fragment. Let's see what I get. Anything good? Oh, nice. From the Peter was the Golden Brick Road. Very nice, very nice. Nice. Look, I'm almost at level two. When I get level two, it'll be 7,000 coins instead of 4,000. Oh my god, level three is 15,000. Nice little 52k cash stack. We got another fragment. What's it gonna be? Fabric experience in Smooth Criminal. There's level 40 thieving. Now we pickpocket a golden Varrock. 1.25 tasks. 25 points to that one. And another 25 points. Perform a special attack. 25 points. All right, it's Merlin's Crystal completed. It's by a Snapdragon. 25 points. Complete the Fallen or Jewelry course. 25 points. I'm not sure how, but I just increased my smooth criminal fragment to level 2. So at level 2, chance to successfully pick pockets increased by 25% and you no longer take damage from being stunned. Wow, it's actually really good. Alright, another skilling fragment. What do we get? Oh, nice! XP in the Golden Brick Road. Oh my god, look how close I am. I'm like literally 80 points away from level 2. There we go, boys. Golden Brick Road level is now 2. Another fragment. Let's see what we get. Find experience in Grave robber that's garbage so now instead of 4k we get 7k a 3k increase skill fragments hey nice find xp in golden brick road next level is at 8000 xp it's gonna take me a while 60 agility coming in that's my first level 60 so i get 50 points complete the cs rooftop 50 points all right nice we're at 30 points i'll be making my next unlock which will be prayer there we go you've unlocked access to the skill prayer now gonna be finishing up holy grail and that should get us to protection pros holy grail Real completed. Look at that. 48 prayer and 51 defense. Super, super nice. Combo level 50 as well. If we put this on. Yep. Oh no, I'm poisoned. What will I do? Oh, no problem. I'll teleport the Forex Enclave and I'll simply just drink the pool over here. There we go. So I'm coming down here to FK and Sand Crabs and I found this really weird, strange object. And when you click on it, some weird fucking picture opens. I don't know what it is. It's like some weird picture. I have no idea what this is. It's probably some like mystery Easter egg thing. Super weird. Alright, we are now level 60 attack. I've just finished editing up my video. And we also got a combat fragment. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's nice. Venom Master. What does that do? Your attacks have a chance to inflict three poison damage. That could be good for some things. Oh, level two's good though. Five poison.
poison damage. Additionally, you are immune to being poisoned. Level three, seven poison damage. Additionally, you are immune to being poisoned and venomed. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, look at that. Use of Hero Ring, 25 points. Enter Xanarus, five points. Pay the diamonds. Let's buy myself a DDS for 30k. Do we get any points for equipping Dragon Weapon? Nice, 50 points. And to wrap up the video, we're gonna spec a giant frog. Good stuff. Nice, dude. This guy just donated me a bond on my PP Hawk Iron Man. Thank you very much, Mr. Bolton Ramsey. It's a funny name. That is gonna wrap up the first day of Leagues number three. I'm not gonna lie, this Leagues has a ton of potential. It's honestly really fun. I think it can last a long time. We are ending at 835 points. Not too shabby. And yeah, I had a really fun time playing my first day. It's definitely the best League so far. If anyone can figure out what that weird coding picture thing was a couple clips ago, I would really appreciate it because I have no idea. I'm honestly a bit too lazy to figure it out because I'm just having too much fun playing leagues. If you want to see more videos from the leagues, drop a like down below, guys. And other than that, I will see you next time. Bye bye.